All right, so for today's challenge, I was tasked with adding on to the, the sword I already made by making it spawn a hitbox. And it took, it took me a while, but there it is. And it actually does damage. I'll just, I'll open a server with two clients just to show you. All right, so we have the two studios open here. These are two different players. And now if I do this, oops, I, I wasn't, there we go. Takes damage. The original challenge was just to make it spawn a hitbox, but I made it do damage. Um, Next would be like probably adding a debounce to it because, you know, if I just spam click, it doesn't delete all the hitboxes. Then I could just, like, I could just have the lingering hitbox just, yeah, just kill, kill the other player. So I really got to fix that. I've done a lot of thinking today, so I decided to just give it a rest. I also saw a comment that said to like list the different like improvements I like made along the way. Um, but I wasn't recording during the process, so maybe maybe I'll do that next time. But if you're curious on what the script looks like, um, this is this was day two, just making it play. Uh, and here's day four. When the tool is activated, so when you click, um, it does this. So first of all, I just define these variables, hitbox, character, and the character's humanoid root part. So this hitbox, right, I just gave it a bunch of different properties. I made it... Uh, unanchored. I named it hitbox when it actually spawns into the workspace. I made it like three by three by three. I made it red, turned can collide off. And then here I welded it to the humanoid, the character's humanoid repart. C0 and then the the, thir the three values when I, when I do this, that's what makes it move off of my body. Because like without that, uh, and originally this is what I had before my friend St. Cosa helped me. Or I would click and it just spawns it inside my body. So yeah, he explained to me C0. He also helped me with the with the hit detection. Like usually I'd be able to figure that out myself, but like I was blanking. I was blanking a little. Oh yeah, he also told me about take damage. Um I didn't I didn't think it was real because like while while it, like while I'm typing it, it doesn't it doesn't show up, right? For example, if I did I don't know, find first child, right? It, it brings up this whole menu with a bunch of different options, but then like take damage, it it doesn't it doesn't show anything. Why, why why doesn't it show anything? I thought he was gaslighting me at first. I thought it wasn't even a real a real function because like I even went into the the uh, object explorer. These are all the like built-in functions, right? And just and take damage just isn't there. Yeah, I thought he was gaslighting me, but it actually it actually does work as you've. As you've seen, oh yeah, this part of the code makes it so that when you finish clicking, it destroys the hit, the hitbox. And yeah, that's it.